You know, um, you always hear me talk about um, that uh, it's a waste of time to wait. People say, uh, so-and-so died and they went to be with the Lord. So you, you've heard that phrase at, at funerals and those types of things. And I'm going to say, to me, that's kind of blasphemy. Because if you believe that Jesus Christ is your personal Savior, the Holy Spirit lives where? In our heart. So I don't have to die and go and be with the Lord. Today I live in His presence. Today my eternal life is happening. And so um, I want to read this passage of Scripture because what this passage of Scripture shows me is that each and every one of us are accountable for each other. It shows me that the Holy Spirit lives in each and every one of us. And because of that, we are reunited as one church or one body in Christ. And that, and and another portion I want to share on here, you've heard me share before how we're responsible for our children, our children's children, and our children's children's children that we might not ever know based upon how we live our lives as Christian men and women. We're responsible for generations that will come that we will never know how we raise our children in the house of love Jesus today. And then the reason why I mention that is because I, want, I just want to point some things out in this little passage of scripture that I want to read. Getting old, i got to make sure I just have some reading glasses on. As my mom calls them, cheaters. we got to cheat to read here. So we're in Ephesians 2, 17. This morning. It says, ready? He came and preached peace to you who were far away, and peace to those who were near. Pretty clear. He came to preach that everyone would hear. Everyone would hear. Whether you were standing right next to him or you were on the other side of the planet, he came so everyone would hear. For through him we both have access to whom? The Father. By what? By one Spirit. We all have access to the Heavenly Father together by one Spirit. One Spirit. Consequently, you are what? No longer foreigners or aliens, but what? Fellow what? Citizens with God's what? People and members of God's household. See that? Through Christ dying on the cross and the Holy Spirit living in us, we are united in one household, as one body. That's why the other, last week or so ago I asked, am I responsible for your salvation? My death and who I am, I'm not, your salvation is not through me, it's through Christ Jesus. But how I live as a Christian man can influence how you live as a Christian man or woman. So yes, how I live as a Christian man can do that because we're one body. So I believe that yes, I am responsible for those sal salvation people around me. Not, not me personally because I died on the cross, that never happened, but me, the man, how I live in my Holy Spirit. Does that make sense? And how people see that. And as an example, you'll see right here. Ready? Built on a foundation of what? The apostles? And the prophets. Do you see that? He's saying this foundation has been built on people we don't even know. Prophets of the Old Testament and apostles of the New Testament. Ready? With Christ Jesus himself as the chief cornerstone. See that? In him, ready? In him, the whole building is joined together. Ready? And rise because the Holy Spirit temple in the low of the Let me read that again. In him, the whole building is joined together and, ri and rise, rises to become a holy temple in the Lord. You see that? Together we will rise. Together we are one. We are one what? We are one holy temple together, Joe, as a one body. Ready? And in him, you two are being built together to become what? A dwelling in which God lives by what? By his spirit. You see that? So we are responsible for each other. If CSI San Bernardino, it even exists. If CSI San Bernardino came in, Joan, and took your blood and my blood, guess what they would find? A DNA match. But we are brother and sister. I don't mean biologically. I mean spiritually, because we both hold the same blood of who? King Jesus. 
So as a family, we are responsible for each other. We do worship the Lord together. We do take care of each other. Because why? Because we are raising ourselves as one temple that worships who? King Jesus. See? And so we, when we walk around, think about this. Think about right now, since you've known the Lord, think about the best day you ever had in Christ. The one day, you, we all know it. We had a day, we're just walking through life. God, this is a great day. I love Jesus. I love the Lord. Nothing went wrong the whole day. Lied down in bed, knocked our head down, and went, wow, what an amazing day. We've had them, right? That day is going to be no comparison to what we have in eternal life in Jesus. See? All of our days will be that way, worshiping Him. So together we are one body united through one DNA, through the blood of Jesus Christ that died on the cross for the forgiveness of our sins. And when we accepted Christ as our personal Savior, the Holy Spirit, the great counselor, comes and lives in us. So that we can unite as one temple and worship the Lord together as one body. Heavenly Father, we come before you, Lord. I just pray, Father, that you would just allow us to always see you for that, Lord. That King Jesus is the cornerstone that we stand our foundation on, our faith on, and that foundation. And that we all believe and know that the Holy Spirit lives in us. And that we live that way as one temple being raised up to, raise, to, to, to worship King Jesus. That's my prayer. And I pray this in King Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Can I have the men come forward, please? He gave thanks, he offered them, saying, Break from it, all of you. This is the blood of the covenant which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sin. Heavenly Father, we come before you, Lord. And Lord, I find myself sometimes taking advantage of the fact that Jesus died on the cross. Allow me not to live that way at all. Allow me to see that through salvation that the Holy Spirit lives in me because I've accepted Jesus as my Savior. I pray that the brother who stands next to me who has accepted Jesus as his Savior allow me to always remember that you live in that person also. And allow us to always have King Jesus as the cornerstone we have our foundation built on. Huh. Through King Jesus we're all brothers and sisters those of us who believe in him as our Savior. Allow us to live that way. I pray this in King Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.